Good morning and welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I got started early. I've already been at work and I'm back for a break. And now I'm going outside with Miss Shotsy Q. And we're gonna go see how the chickens are doing with their frozen watermelon. Um, they, I left the rind in from yesterday. It's still got a little bit left, but they'll eat it till it's almost like paper. It's pretty funny. I wish I could get that. I, I don't think the sprinklers are hitting that right. So I'm gonna set up the sprinkler and get that watered. Well, it's still, it's about 85 today. Right now it's gonna be 91. And, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's still frozen. So that's the thing. The uh, watermelon stays frozen for quite a while. And they, obviously they can't peck at it if it's frozen solid. So, oh girlies. Oh, it's getting softer. It's getting soft. You could peck at it. Yeah. They're like, nah, we tried it earlier. It was really cold and hard. <laughs> but they'll have it gone. This is the one from yesterday. I mean, they've almost, there's still a little bit of rind there. They'll get through it. Oh, she says, I might have to have some of that. Yeah. All right, so success on the watermelon and thank you guys for all your kind comments you guys are awesome and input and suggestions I got tons of good stuff out of yesterday's video that was really awesome I love it when we share the information and share you know like uh, about the phone calls getting phone calls from people you don't know somebody gave me a, a link to an app um, that works to block those and um, keeps you from, ooh, almost fell in a hole. Um, keeps you from getting spammed with phone calls and all that good stuff. So I got some of the straw, about half the bale of straw moved. It's not the most fun job in the world, and I just take my time when I'm gardening. So, um, well, I did the first bale. This is the second bale, and it was wet and gooey. So I was like, I think I'll do that after tomorrow. So if you can see, half of the garden area is totally mulched, more than half. And I just have down here to, to finish off. And I'll do that tonight. And that'll be easy. And that's plenty of straw. So there's two bales of straw in here. And um, I got some weeding to do. But it'll suppress those weeds and give you... Uh, uh, a nice moist even temperature even moisture in your soil all that so if you haven't tried mulching with straw I would go ahead and try and it's one of the best things I've ever done oh I gotta show you <laughs> and they grow pretty fast um, oh, I got two things to show you okay so I'm coming around here check it out look at how big that bell pepper's getting already it's already that big in just a couple of days since I saw it. That's crazy. And, oh yeah. And peas are vining up. They've latched on. The um, green beans have latched on. So it won't be long and we're gonna have beans coming in. And no, I didn't pick the rhubarb yet. <laughs> but the apple tree is doing great. All the apples are hanging on. Oh, one more, one more thing. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, oh, I have potatoes flowering here, there, there. And you know what that means? And tons of buds on these. You know what that means? That means we have tubers forming underground. So we're definitely gonna have potatoes. And I was gonna check on one of my um, garlics over here to see, yeah. Um, if it's gonna bulb or not, I don't think they are the ones that I transplanted. I think I'm gonna have to dig them up in the fall. And how do I get weeds in a raised box? I don't know. Okay, Shotzi says it is hot. Let's go in, and I agree, Miss Do. Yeah. Okay. Whew. There we go. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm catching up on YouTube videos, and um, just got done watching. Brad and Krista over at Big Family Homestead. They're getting ready to move to a new homestead. I'm excited. 
And I'm gonna give a shout out. This is one of my newest favorite channels. <laughs> Alumna Acres. If you haven't watched these guys, it's a family of three, husband, wife, daughter, and they have a great homestead. I'm guessing it's in Michigan or some place like that. It's up north, and it, he's got kind of an accent, so that's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong, but they're raising chickens and pigs, and uh, they just did meat birds and processed them, and they're growing their own food, he, he does a lot of really neat projects in the shop kind of thing. So when he needs something, he builds it. Yeah, and their daughter is amazing. So anyways, if you guys watch this, hi! And everybody that's, you know, looking around for a new channel, go check them out and tell them I sent you and say hi. Okay. All right, guys, I'll be back later when i got something else to show you. It gets, once it gets really, really hot, radishes don't like it and they tend to not do well. So... I'm very thankful for these. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Radishes for my salad. It's wonderful. Okay. The other thing I wanted to show, tell you, I went, and let's go over here where there might be some shade. Um, and by the way, chickens love radish tops. They love them. I dug down in one of my transplant of garlic out in the other bed out there. Um, and it actually had a little bulb forming. Now they won't be huge and they won't be fantastic, but they're better than nothing and they were free. <laughs> and so what I think I'm gonna do is this fall, everything else that's out there in the raspberry bed, I'm gonna go ahead and dig it up and um, transplant it. And again, it'll be free garlic that I grew here. It's already used to our climate. It kind of, um, it makes for a better garlic. And then I should be able to get pretty good because I'll only plant the biggest ones. So I'm gonna wash these up, get the tops off for the chickens. Now, I'm confused about this grapevine. Maybe you guys can help me. You guys are always really, really, really helpful. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. Okay, so I'm following everyone's advice and not gonna try to transplant my grapevine that's here over my porch until, that's all great, fine, until this fall when it goes dormant. And then I'll cut it back and dig a really deep hole. In fact, I'll probably start digging on the hole sooner than later. And so, I don't know what happened here because last year when I got grapes, they were just little tiny grapes and they formed. And, but these are almost like it's a seed pod, like it went to seed. Can you guys see that? I don't know if that shows up well enough. So I'm confused. Are we not gonna get grapes? I, you know, some of these look like they might could form into them, but I've never seen that before. So I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I wasn't out here. But it, before that happened, they look like little bitty grapes on there. And I mean, it's covered in these, so I don't know. If you guys know what's going on, let me know. And then this, this is a plum. Um, it's a flowering plum, but the plums are edible if you catch them at the right time and they're not red, ready yet. They're really hard. And I need to, when it cools down, I need to get my friend Vicki out here to get that clematis. She said she would take it. So I can dig that up and get her uh, pretty clematis. It's got beautiful purple flowers on it. And, okay, and then I have to go back to Walmart before I go to work because my nifty three-gallon container that I got, I didn't realize it until I got home because I didn't see them on display, so I may have to go to a different Walmart, but I'm going to look at ours. You have to have a stand to put this up on. You have to buy this little stand to put it up on. And it makes sense, otherwise how are you gonna get your glass under there? <laughs> anyway, I'm like, oh, why, why didn't I see that? Otherwise I might've bought a different container, but if I can't find one, then I'll take it back and figure something else out. I mean, Costco has a, a clear um, beverage container like that, but I really wanted something galvanized since my, it's outside since my um, silverware or flatware container is galvanized and a lot of my gardening stuff. So I thought, you know, it'd be cute to have that out there. So, okay, um, I 
think that's it until I get home from work. And it's going to be an easy night. I'm doing laundry. I uh, polished all my stainless in the kitchen. Uh, did the dishes, made the coffee for tomorrow. And I, I'm not sure if we're going to have taco salad or tacos. I'll ask Michael. And I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to make salad anyway because... I can have taco salad for lunch tomorrow. Yes. Okay, so I think I'm, I'm good. I think I'm good. It's tomorrow Friday already? Oh my gosh, I think it is. And Chatsy is sleeping. My, my girly, she's a good girl. She's the best friend a girl could ever have, huh? Yes. <laughs> she's such a good dog. Okay, and the chickens are on that watermelon now. Now that it's thawing. And, oh, I gotta give them those rashes tops. Okay, I gotta get busy. Mm -hmm. I gotta make salad. Hi, puppies. Hi, hi, how are you? Okay, so I'm gonna finish out the vlog. I'm getting ready to water and do all my stuff outside. It's nice and cool now. And um, I had such a great day. My clients are so awesome. Anyways, um, if any of you are watching, thank you for being awesome like you are. And. Oh, I know it. Anyway, um, I can't wait to see you tomorrow for, hmm, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. I work, so I may not be doing a whole lot, but um, I've got some things, ideas for the garden that I want to kind of check out, and so maybe we'll be doing some of that. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.